Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. So today I wanted to talk about time and more specifically how I've been able to make my planning more efficient so I'm able to save time. Because as we all know, time is our most valuable asset. So with that being said, you guys know how much I love planning. But I don't want to spend my life planning it. I want to spend it living it, right? So I want to spend my time not planning my life, but actually living my life. So if you guys would like to see uh, some of the ways that uh, you're able to uh, make planning more efficient, then I hope you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's start off with the first way that I've been able to uh, reduce time when it comes to planning and make things more efficient, and that is that I went from using two planners to only using one planner for everything. So um, rather than, you know, lugging around more than one planner, which can be very heavy, <laughs> um, you know, I also don't have to worry about updating two different planners at the end of the night, which was very time consuming. And sometimes what I found was, you know, I just didn't have the energy for it. So um, now, you know, I just have to worry about updating one planner at the end of the night, uh, taking a look at what my plans are for the next day, and I am good to go. Um, again, like I said, I do have everything that I need in this one planner. I do have a flip if you would like to see, in case you haven't seen it, which I will link for you guys in the description box below. My setup is basically the same. It's been the same for a while, and it's working for me. So you know, I know that that's not the case for everyone, but uh, for me, it has definitely helped um, to start only using one planner. So that's the first way that I've been able to um, be more efficient when it comes to planning and save time. So the second thing that I have implemented uh, in order to help, uh, you know, save time and be more efficient has to do with my daily schedule. So as you guys know, when the kids are in school, our schedule is the same from Monday to Friday. So what I used to do was I would take a daily insert and fill it out every single day with the same information because again, my schedule is the same. So not only was that a waste of time, but it was also a waste of paper. So for me, it just didn't make any sense, you know, to plan out my day when it was the same every single day. So what I did instead was I actually printed my daily schedule on a sticky note. I do have a video showing you guys how I do that, which I'll link for you in the description box below. So what I do now is I just take a look at my daily schedule and then when I get to chores, I can take a look at my middle column and see what chores need to be done for that day. And when it comes to tasks, I can do the same thing as well. So at two o'clock I do tasks. So I'll take a look at the right hand column and that shows me what tasks need to be done for that day. So again, this saves me time because I don't have to plan my entire day every single night. At the end of the day, all I really have to plan is the meals that we're going to have the next day because um, like I said, everything is already written down. Um, also what I can do is I could take a look at my to-do list and see what I can schedule for that specific day. Um, again, like I said, it definitely re reduces a lot of time when your schedule is repetitive. All right, and the third way that I have made my planning more efficient is that I've added a routine um, in my planner. So I've added a routine insert. What I used to do when I would plan my week is I would have to sit there and go, you know, what am I doing on Monday? Oh, what do I need to do on Tuesday? I don't do that anymore because I do have uh, a routine in place. So this routine insert is from a um, bundle called the Mama Bundle, which is in collaboration between myself and May Paper Co. And basically what you do is you fill out any tasks that you do on that specific day. So what I do when I plan my week now is I just copy and paste what is written down. So for Monday, I know that I do bedrooms, bed sheets, master bathroom. Tuesday, I know that that's when I do my cardio. So, you know, it could be tasks, it could be exercise, whatever you like, anything that you do on that specific day, um, you know, you write it down. And like I said, when it comes to planning my week, I just copy and paste that information into here. It has made my life so much easier. You know, rather than spending an hour planning, it probably takes me maybe 15 minutes to plan for my week. So, you know, again, um, anything that you can implement that makes your planning more efficient, 
Now I can use that time towards something else, spending time with my kids, uh, being outdoors, whatever the case may be, right? So that is the third thing that I have implemented. Um, the fourth way that I've made my planning more efficient is I don't plan like everybody else anymore. What I used to do or what would happen was I would see, you know, somebody, uh, use an insert on Instagram and I had to have that insert. I had to try it and, you know, plan exactly like that person. And then what I found out was that doesn't work for everyone. So I really do try to live by the rule of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If your planning system is working for you, if your insert is working for you, why change it? That's just going to complicate things, make things more overwhelming for you. You know, now you've got to print another insert or order another insert or whatever the case may be when everything is working just fine. So, you know, now I know that if my inserts are working, why waste time and money trying to uh, move on to something else? I mean, at the end of the day, it's definitely okay to try new inserts. That's how you figure out which ones work for you and which ones don't. What I'm trying to say is if you have found an insert and it is working for you, that's when I think that, you know, it is a waste of time to try to find something else when you already have something that is working for you. So those are the things that I've learned, um, you know, save time and make my planning or help my planning to be that much more efficient and I'm able to enjoy other things, right? So I have time to do other things as well. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of people where they will flip through the entire planner every single day. You don't have to do that. That's a waste of time. Just stick with the inserts that you need to use every day, which is, you know, another thing. Um, I honestly only really use my weekly insert every day. Everything else, I don't need to see. I don't need to look at my goals and my projects and my kids' health and my health and all. I don't need to see that every day. You know, some of it is on an as-needed basis, but for the most part, it's really just my weekly insert. And if I have filled out a daily insert, then I need to look at that daily as well. Otherwise, flipping through the planner every single day is just such a waste of time. So let me know uh, down below, what are some of the ways that you guys uh, have made your planning more efficient and that you've been able to save time? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check out my Instagram as well. Uh, that's where I post how I use my inserts and what uh, tools I use when it comes to planning. So thank you so much for watching my video. So again, don't spend so much time planning your life when you can actually be living it. So that is it from me, you guys. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.